Welcome to the video by DJ SPRC. We have in front of us the Jeep SCX10, SCX24, not the SX10, from Axial. Uh, and we're going to install some brass on it. We have the Hot Racing Brass Diff Covers, just to give it a bit more weight. Now, I did remove the body off of it, just easier to work with no body. Now, this kit comes with one brass cover and some uh, silver screws. The silver screws I'm not going to reuse. I'm just going to use the brass itself because I'm going to reuse the stock screws. Now, there is six screws to remove. There is a sequence on the top ones, on the top diff. They are longer. And the four other ones are the same length. And they are small screws. The front's a little bit harder to do because of the physical steering. There we go. Pretty much other vehicles, you'll have four of them. And this little guy needs six. And one last. Now, once you remove the cover, there's no danger for the gears to fall. Even then the cover stays in my stayed in my hands. The only thing you have to be careful uh, often in the cover itself you'll have a bearing right here. You'll need to remove that bearing and transfer it to the new one. But sometimes She's extremely hard to remove. Come on. And there's not... Do it this way. It's a guaranteed she'll come out every time. There we go. Basically what I did, I grabbed something that's pointy. I just went underneath and turned to pop her out. Now I'm going to transfer the bearing to the brass and make sure she's seated completely in. There she goes. And then grab the, the diff and add the brass to it. And just make sure it's seated completely. It is. And I'm going to grab one of the long ones and put on top. <laughs> and screw this in. And then I'm going to grab the other one. One of the smaller ones. I'm just going to do the corner that way. Try to keep it pretty much central, but even. Do we get a corner and then I'll do the middle ones. Now, like I said earlier, the front one will be a little bit harder. 
because you have some stuff in your way. go now I do have a video uh, changing the axle to the aluminum one now it's not on this vehicle here it's one of my friends uh, this is my personal one I'm not gonna change them uh, I might remove the silver on it but we'll see now the back one is done Let's jump to the front one. Try to make it easier on me. I'm gonna to try to do it like in 45 degrees. Not 45, but straight, but the steering turn. Be able to access those screws. You might need a long nose to be able to grab the screw. If I'm lucky, it's gonna stay on my screwdriver. No, it didn't. And I won't be able to grab it. Nope. It's playing hardball with me. I'll go grab something that I'll be able to grab it. There we go. And let's do the other one. And basically it's the same thing you're gonna do front the front of the rear you did to the you're gonna do to the front. go and now the other two you'll need to bend your bar a bit built to have access to the screw itself This is not a very long job to do, but because of these screws, uh, <laughs> we should be done by now. Two more. Now again, you'll have the same issue as the rear. Once you removed it, you'll need to remove the physical bearing. But once that's done, pop that back in. You'll be able to pop the screws back. There we go. Pop the case. Now this might be a little bit more trickier. Because you'll have the steering knuckle in your way but it should pop out and this one I was lucky the bearing stayed on the the worm gear but I am going to remove it because of the physical steering bar in my way I can't pop the case straight let's open this guy here Have a bearing. Put these guys aside. And 
There we go. I'll make sure she's seated. And grab our long screws. They go on top. And drop it a couple of times. Try to put on the screws right itself. Might have a little bit more luck. There we go. Now, while I'm screwing this back in, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comment, post down below. I'll be glad to either answer you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.